Hello and welcome back to Man Screams at Crinkle Duvet. Uh, I don't have the issue on hand. I don't have the issue on hand. I should probably redo this. I'm not gonna. Um, if you hear someone uh, cutting the grass in the background, that is not on my end. Must be on your end. There's no one cutting the grass here. Uh, don't know why you brought it up, to be quite honest. I actually recorded this episode like a week ago, but the vibe kind of reminded me of the vibe you get. Like, uh funeral for like like say a zoo burned down and they held a, a funeral but like all the animals died every single animal died all the meerkats all the other meerkats every animal the zoo died they had a funeral for that imagine the vibe there and and uh a little worse than that so i i'm re-recording it and it's issue five there's actually uh that is that's a floor that's a floor that's a grand. That's the floor. This is the first floor. The fifth issue then. That's when we got our first floor. I've been waiting for floors. I've been waiting for floors. This one doesn't count. We got our first floor. Why did I hate this uh, so much when I recorded it last time? This is great. This is real good stuff. This is real good stuff. It can only get better from here. We're, it's, a, it's a terrific start though. Also, last time, there were Evil Potatoes, um, Professor Joe, I don't know, um, the potato, Mr. Mr. put on Cheesy Chum's superhero costume, which I guess gives whoever wears it powers, not just Cheesy Chum, so the fact that Cheesy Chum's superhero has nothing to do with, uh, it's fine, um, and Mr. Mr. defeat the potatoes, uh, I love how it took four issues for Cheesy Chum to just become absolutely useless. It's really good stuff. Um, so he defeated the potatoes and the potatoes just kind of, uh, I think they left. Um, and that was uh, all the explanation we had there. Um, so now in this issue, after uh, the wedding, the potatoes return uh, and they're coming from spaceships, UFOs. So, um, time for context, time for context, uh, I'm gonna sum up, they went to Venus, uh, I, I don't know how they went to Venus, I, um, yeah, okay, I'm kind of remembering why I really hate this issue so much last time, um, it's a recurring theme, just, like, in the first few issues, there's, there's a lot of, like, Oh, this trope, this comic trope, superhero trope. Um, it's just like, blah, blah. Professor Bo being like, oh, I want to kill someone. That's not even really a trope. But just kind of, um, I thought it was like satirical. Just like my childhood self writing this being like, oh, here's a trope. Here's a trope. And, and not explaining them at all. And they're just there. And that was kind of the charm in it. Um, charm is a strong word, obviously. But now it's getting to the point where it's just so tired. It's just so tired of any really five issues and there's so many of these. There's like 40 of these. And I'm gonna do every one of them. I'm gonna do every one of them. So bad. I see a dog. Anyway, um So they went they they went to Venus. Don't know how. Um they found someone there. This this boy. This boy. This bar. No floors again, by the way. We've, uh... We did the floors. We did the floors. One panel was enough. Um... And... The, this alien is their new master. Um, there's some jokes, I believe. And... Then he tells the potatoes to kill Cheesy Chum. I don't know why. I don't think he has a motivation. Um, but I don't really want to read this issue again, so I, I couldn't tell you for sure. He tells them to kill Cheesy Chum. And they're holding weapons now. I don't know where they... I best not think about it. Um, oh my god. Okay, so the potato strikes Cheesy Chum. And I guess knocks him out. And then... Um, while Cheesy Chum is unconscious, an alien, so they didn't kill Cheesy Chum, they just knocked him out. Even though they uh, explicitly stated that that's, they wanted to kill him. 
on the, the previous page, a couple of pages ago. Um, but they, they knock him unconscious, and then the alien, presumably, because we were assuming this is tentacles, it may, maybe it's a rope, couldn't tell you, I could not tell you. Um, and I guess there's a, a UFO above. Uh, this is, this is torturous. We're, we, we gotta get through this. We have to get through this. It's crucial that we get through this. So he's unconscious. She gets kidnapped. The potatoes just kind of leave, um, or stand off screen for, for a little bit. Uh, and then she wakes up in the UFO and she's hypnotized and there's a rope for some reason. I don't know if this is like a grappling hook. It's not. Um, it's just a rope. So I don't know how they got the rope on. I don't know how. I don't know how he got on the UFO. How did he get on the UFO? Did it land and then he just jumped on? Um, he's on the UFO. He has a rope. Mister Mister was hanging from the rope. I don't know if the UFO had landed and Jesus Chum got on. Why didn't Mister Mister just get on as well? Why is he even coming along? Why does Jesus Chum not have a superhero outfit on? If he's a superhero, why or why is he just wearing his sunglasses? Why does he wear sunglasses in the first place? Why Why do we never see his face? This is covered later on in the in the in the series. But I'm 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 screaming it now. I'm screaming it right now because I'm going to die. This is going to kill me. I'm going to die from these. I'm going to die from these. Uh, so he smashes into the UFO, which apparently is as small as it seems. Um, it's just a little, tiny little uh, UFO, and there's one potato in there. And the alien, he lets go of the rope, and then there's like a little cute little Mr. Mr.'s dead joke. I don't think he's dead. I mean, he's not. But he falls quite from quite a height, and uh, it says splat. So, I don't know. I guess he's fine. Oh, my God. And then another alien, who's a guard, puts him in like a little pod, an escape pod thing. And he flies away, and then he crashes, his sunglasses come off, but I guess he, f f um, I guess they landed back on him. Um, hours later he wakes up at the same time as Mr. Mister, and they're next to each other. So Mr. Mister fell from the UFO, uh, just in the same spot that Cheesy Chum Cheesy Chum was shot, like, ages away. He saw him go through the sky, but I guess he landed right in the same spot. Mr. Mister landed in. Oh, God. Uh, and Miss Miss is there. I guess Miss Miss was just standing, waiting for them to wake up. As was the alien and the potatoes. They were just kind of waiting. What's the plan here? She's going to kill them. Why didn't she kill them when they were unconscious in front of her? They were both unconscious in front of her. Um, why does he have... Is that like a bandage on his head in this panel? And then he doesn't have it in the next panel? <sighs> Even though Mr. Mister still has his like, scars and stuff from falling like 10,000 feet or whatever it was. Um, we have this uh, joke, which I think... Um, actually, the Tango Cheesy Chunk cancelled. Uh, not the comics, the person. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty rough. Um, the Psy women. We're, we're not a big fan of that. Mr. Mr. keeps quiet about it. Um, but hashtag time's up, but Hashtag, hashtag time's up. What's going on with your arms there, bud? Is that a shrug? Is that how you shrug? I'm not judging, man. I'm not judging, man. It's a good shrug. It's a good shrug. But time's up. Time's up. So, Mr. Mr.'s pissed as hell at this alien for hypnotizing his wife to kill them. And then the alien tells the potatoes or Miss Miss to kill Cheese Jam, Mr. Mister. And then Cheese Jam has an idea. So he leaves. He leaves. And then they stand. And they wait for him. And uh, he has a liquid called Wonkavate. Um, copied off Charlie and the Great Gossip earlier. Uh, I guess I read that recently when I when I when I wrote this. Um, uh, they drink it. They just drink it. They just drink it. 
and then she's fine. And uh, it was alcohol. It was alcohol, and that fixed everything. Um, I guess the alien and the potatoes got drunk from the beer. Uh, and they got sent to Russia for showing a bad example to kids. This is what I'm talking about. Like, the, 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 haha, <laughs> it's lazy, you know. <laughs> it's just like, oh, this happened. But it doesn't matter, because we're all having a good time. It's funny. It's funny. We're here. We're not here for the story. We're here for the gags. Um, but it's just not cutting it. It's just not cutting it, to be quite honest. He quotes The Simpsons. And that's it. That's the episode. Episode? There's a shark in the next one. I can't imagine how that would be bad. But, um... I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs>